this next video we're going to show you several techniques that you can do to draw in retaining walls. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want to draw a wall across the front of this bed. Now the easiest way to do a curved wall uh, like what we have here is uh, to use the EasyScape wall tool found here on the middle of the EasyScape toolbar. Okay, when I click on that I get uh, different tool types. Typically what we'll use here is the freeform curve tool and click OK and then it's going to show us the repeating uh, wall patterns that we have available to us. Now on this one I'm going to use the first one which is block wall pattern. Okay, you'll see here my cursor has a little polygon uh, attached to it and I simply want to grab or I'm sorry I will click along the top of this wall like so get over to the edge there and I'll right click. Now when I do that I can still come in here and I can adjust uh, the points on the top of this wall like so to change the curvature. Now don't make the mistake of when you draw in a wall if you exaggerate this curve what it's going to do when you exaggerate it like that is it's going to make it appear that you're looking down on the wall and you don't want that. You want the uh, wall to look uh, just have a subtle curve in there and just look uh, fairly level. Uh, just a subtle curve will demonstrate that you do have a curvature there on the wall. Okay. Now uh, what we can do also here is we can go over to the workspace in the properties window and you have a slider here that says size and what you can do is you can stretch that uh, vertically like so. Okay. Uh, you can also change the scale and what that does is it changes the scaling of that those uh, bricks horizontally okay so the size goes vertical the scale changes the scaling of it horizontally okay so once you get the uh, wall in there like so you're ready to go okay now you also have the option to add a slope to a wall now it's important when you add a slope to get the curvature of the wall down right because once you add a slope you're going to lose the ability to change this curvature okay so when I get the curvature right okay what I'll do here is I can I'm gonna drag that up so we can see this pop-up menu better I'm gonna right click on the wall and go to pattern and slope and then I get several different sloping styles here I will select style 3 since I want this to go down and to the left. Okay, then you'll see now it has added these green points around here. Now these green points, what I can do is I can grab these like so and make adjustments to that to make it appear that now it is cutting into a slope there. Okay, alright, so that's how we do a sloped wall. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you some additional uh, wall techniques uh, that do not use the EasyScape wall tool. Now if we go down to the paver library at the bottom in the content explorer and I'm going to select down at the, here at the bottom you'll see wall patterns. Okay, when I select wall patterns you'll see the same walls that we had to choose from up in the EasyScape toolbar. Now here I'm going to select block wall pattern as we had before. Okay, now what we can do is we can manipulate this wall to change the perspective of the wall. And the way that we do it is we right click on the wall and select perspective edit. Now perspective edit, what it does here is it gives me four adjustment points where I can go in and I can tweak that wall to make it appear that that wall is closer on this end and farther away from us on this end. Okay, so I can it's it's at an angle now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that by pressing the delete key, and I'll drag another one up there. Now this time, what I'm going to do is I'll right click on it and select Linear Perspective Edit. Okay, now Linear Perspective Edit it gives us these eight adjustment points. Now what I'll do is I'll just pull this one down and the one that's on top there, I'll pull it up just a little bit. Okay, and these that are on the far right side, I'm just going to bring those 
in like so and try to make that line relatively straight across there and it's important when you do this adjustment that you keep these uh, columns of points vertical so we want to keep that straight up and down throughout those okay you don't want to tilt them like so then your wall will be uh, distorted and won't look quite right okay so what this uh, perspective I'm sorry the linear perspective edit does is it makes this wall appear that it's a 90 degree corner here and it, it just turns the corner now remember the original wall was a flat wall like this so we were able to put that corner on there using the linear perspective edit tool okay now I'll go ahead and delete that and show you show you another perspective edit tool which is called a contour perspective edit if I right click on that image again now this was a new image not the one that we had uh, used with the linear perspective edit I will select contour perspective edit now this one it gives me 16 adjustment points here now what I'll do here is I'll grab this point on the bottom and pull it down a little bit and then this one I'll just pull it up a little bit and then over here on the right side I'll just bring these down and in like so and again I want to keep those points so that they are the the columns are vertical columns I don't want to to make them uh, uneven like so okay okay so the contour perspective edit what it does here is it gives me this this curved wall so it, it, it appears to have a curve in this wall uh, unlike the linear perspective edit that gave me a 90 degree corner okay so uh, go ahead and uh, try those wall techniques out and, and you know you want to practice with those uh, wall tools because uh, not all walls are going to be the same and uh, you'll want to practice with those and you can combine uh, different wall uh, techniques here so if you have a, a contour perspective edit wall there you can also uh, apply another wall right next to it which is the linear perspective edit I'm sorry that was the regular perspective edit and you can extend that wall so that it appears to be uh, longer uh, than the original uh, wall that you had there Okay, and that is how we do walls uh, with Image Editor.